friends? Today is Sunday, February 7th, 2021. And this is Waddles. Today, we are going to learn some fun facts about penguins and read some fun stories about penguins. And at the end, I will show you how you can make your own paper penguin. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Waddles. And I'm named Waddles because I waddle when I walk. And I'm gonna help read the stories today. Our first story that we're gonna read is called The Trouble with Penguins. What? I don't cause any trouble. Let's see what it's about. The Trouble with Penguins by Rebecca Gordon Glum. On the day the penguin discovered the person, everything changed. The penguin had been waddling along in the most penguinish manner, minding its own penguin business, until it wasn't. Oh, hello, I'm roasting marshmallows. Would you like one? Of course the penguin would like a marshmallow. It liked it very much, in fact. Mm. Come on, I'll show you how. The new friends roasted marshmallows together by the fire. When it was time for the penguin to go home, the person gave it a hug and the very best roasting stick. And they shared a warm goodbye. Naturally, the other penguins were quite impressed and wanted to roast marshmallows by the fire, too. Oh, that's a lot of penguins. Yes, it is. At first, they were all happy to share one little fire that gave off the most delightful warmth. They found fun ways to pass the time when it wasn't their turn, which everyone was happy doing. Until they weren't. You see, the trouble with penguins is that they don't always like to share. Well, I'm a good sharer. I'm sure you are, Waddles. Some penguins need to learn. Before long, each wanted its own roasting stick and its own campfire. They built fire. After fire, 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 until something happened. What do you think happened? Well, what happens to ice when it gets warm? Uh oh. And just like that, each penguin had its own roasting stick, its very own fire, and best of all, its very own island, which was wonderful. Until it wasn't. It was lonely. Now, everyone knows the trouble with penguins is that they aren't always good at admitting when they're wrong. Thankfully, penguins are full of good intentions that aren't half bad at learning from their mistakes. Would you like to share my fire with me? It liked it very much, in fact. They all did. And of course, nobody likes to be left out. I hope they invite the boy over. Oh, they're all swimming to the boy. So they decided to give it another try. And that was no trouble at all. Oh, they had a good idea to get more marshmallows done. Do you see that? 
<gasps> Look how many they have on there. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're doing nine at once. And then they made a sign. Community campfire, all welcome. Please share. The end. So, that was a fun story about penguins, but it was a made up story. Although some of it is true, that penguins waddle and they live near ice. And I'm going to share with you from this book, Wild About Animals, some true facts about penguins. So this book has different pages and it said on page 52 that we would find some facts about penguins. So I'm gonna read you this fact right here. It says, superb swimmers. Penguins are the best swimmers and divers in the bird world. They live mostly in and around the Antarctic at the very south of the world. They spend most of their lives in water where they catch fish and tiny animals called krill to eat. Yeah, we like those things, not really marshmallows. Yeah. But they do come to land to breed. Their wings act as strong flippers to push them through the water and their tail and webbed feet help them steer. Penguins sometimes get turned around on land by sliding over ice on their tummies. Whee! Yes, so penguins are very good swimmers. They can't fly, but they can swim. All right, Waddles has a little song for you about penguins. Yeah, and it says that uh, penguins are black and white in it, but sometimes we're different colors too, but so I'm not black and white, but we're gonna sing that part, okay? So it goes like this. I'm a little penguin, black and white, stout and fluffy, what a sight. I can't fly, but I love to swim. So I'll waddle to the water and dive right in. Good job. All right, I have one more story that we're gonna read. It's called Penguins by Liz Kishon. These penguins live at the zoo. That's where I, you got me. Mm -hmm. It's morning at the zoo. The penguins wake up and have their first swim. Oh, and they're dreaming about fish. Everyday penguin activities. Number one, swim. Number two, eat fish. Number three, play penguin games. Number four, sleep standing up. And number five, look at people. Number six, look at more people. On rainy days, the penguins don't do much at all. But when the sun shines and people come, it's fun, 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 yay! After all the people have gone, a little penguin notices something. Don't touch it, says his mother. Somebody will be back for it. But nobody comes back. The little penguin moves closer for a better look. Ooh. goes over and picks it up. It's a camera, says the little penguin. What do you do with a camera? The other penguins ask. You smile at it, says the little penguin, grinning. Are you sure you can't eat it? Asks a hungry penguin. A baby penguin jumps on the camera and says, let's press all the buttons. Flash! They all get bug eyes. Everyone waddle over there and line up, says the little penguin. Okay, they reply. The little penguin looks through the camera lens. What do we do? Shout all the other penguins. The little penguin puts his flipper on the button and says, everyone look at me and says, and say fish. Click fish. The 
little penguin takes the picture. Click, now all the penguins want to use the camera. Click, they take lots and lots of amazing pictures. Flash, but suddenly the camera stops working. Oh dear, says the mother penguin, you better put it back now. So the little penguin puts the camera back on the rock where he found it. The next morning, the zookeeper sees the camera. What's this doing here, he says. I'd better take it to Lost and Found. Soon the camera is returned to the little girl who dropped it. Your camera is not broken, says the zookeeper, but the penguins seem to have pecked at it a bit. That's okay, the little girl says. I love penguins. A few days later, the pictures are developed. There are pictures of monkeys, lions, tigers, and elephants. And strangely, there are quite a few pictures of penguins too. The end. All right, we have one more thing to do. I'm gonna show you how to make your own penguin and what you need to make your own penguin. So first, you need a piece of black paper and a piece of white paper and a pencil and some scissors, an orange marker and some glue and something to trace to make a round belly. I used a jar lid and you can use a cotton ball for the fluffy belly part if you want, but you don't need a cotton ball. So the first thing you're gonna do so you're gonna take your hand like this and you're gonna open it so that you have three sections of your hand. And then you're gonna probably need mom or dad's help, but you're gonna trace around that. I already did that earlier, but you're gonna trace with your pencil and then you're gonna cut that part out. Mom and dad can help you with the cutting. you're gonna trace around something round for your penguin's belly. So I already traced around my jar lid and I'm going to cut that out. And that will go in the middle of your penguin for your penguin's belly. And then with your pencil on the white piece of paper, you can draw some penguin eyes and a beak. And I'm going to color in my beak, orange. And, oh, you can also use a black marker to color the middle of your eyes, but I'm just gonna use the pencil and I'm going to color in the middle of my penguin's eyes. And then we'll cut those out. Sometimes I just cut around everything first. And you could actually do it just like this to make it easier. Or you could cut them all out individually, but I think I'm going to leave it all together and just do this. And then I can put that up here for my penguin's face. And then you'll glue everything on. And then at the end, if you want to make it really fancy and fluffy belly, you can tear up the tissue, I mean the cotton ball and put it on, glue it on for a fluffy belly. And there's your penguin. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed story time and we will see you again next time. Have a great day, bye.